So today we're going to talk about these three gifts, the power gifts. Gifts of healings, workings of miracles, and the gift of faith. Gifts of healings. The New King James has double plural. Gifts and healings. Meaning there are many of these things. And healings it means all kinds. Healing for the body, healing for the mind. Right? So we don't have to explain, define this very much. It's a, a supernatural work of God that brings healing to a person, person's body or mind. God's power flowing through. So just imagine this, that God wants to release his power through you to heal somebody else. People actually encounter God. They meet God through the gifts, through this expression. And it's up to them, of course, at that time, uh, to say, yes, this is God, or no, this is it. Whether it's a small thing or a big thing, from our estimation, for God, it's the same thing. It's his power fixing somebody's physical or emotional problem. We all say, okay, if it's a stomach problem, that's easy, I'll pray, I'm sure it'll get well. But if it's something big, that it becomes immediately a mental barrier for us. That's where we must learn to put that aside, step out in faith. Talk a little bit about how the Holy Spirit initiates the release of the gifts of healing. The way God operates these gifts is diverse. There are many, many ways through which the gifts of healings can flow through your life and mine. One common way is this. That you get a knowing of the desire of God's heart. And when you recognize it, that's when we have to do the rest of the thing. God would move on our hearts as a prompting. Look, I want to release healing through you. For that person. Maybe your heart is filled with compassion for that person. Maybe uh, you see the person comes to you. And, and you call the person. Hey, what, is there anything wrong? And you find out there's something wrong. And you begin to reach out to that person. Another way is through words of knowledge. So sometimes you might get a little picture. Of, of a certain part of the body that's afflicted. Or a, or a certain condition that God wants to heal. So you mention it. You call it out. That word of knowledge builds faith in their heart. Saying that yes, God wants to heal this. They connect with that. And it causes healing to come forth. So words of knowledge are very important because it builds faith in people's lives. And it's an indicator to you and to them, God wants to heal that condition. Another thing that happens commonly in our service uh, would be a recognition of God's healing presence. So as we are worshiping, if we recognize God's presence is moving towards healing, then we begin to move and minister that way. So how do you release this? Basically, you declare, you say what you see God revealing to you. You have to act on it. You have to speak it. You pray the prayer of faith. You release words. You command the sickness to go. You're stepping out on what God is moving you into. And then there are, of course, times when there may not be great faith, but God just moves supernaturally, healing people. The workings of miracle, what is it? It's God's supernatural intervention into natural elements, elements of nature into life situations, into events that are taking place, and into human ability. God's miracle power can be released through you into life situations to turn them around. That's the working of miracles. And let's talk about the last one, faith. So faith is something that we need very often and to operate along that, that operates along with the gift of healing, gifts of healings and working miracles. Faith, as we understand it, is our ability to believe God. Now we all have our normal level of faith. We, we all trust God, we walk in faith uh, in our normal level. But the gift of faith is an additional infusion of faith that the Holy Spirit brings into your heart at a given moment of time for a specific task. Ah, oh, I can do this. I can believe God for this. This can happen. This will happen. But then you've got to act on it. These gifts are for you and me. I want you to have an expectation in your heart throughout the week that God, these things can flow through my life.